So in this video, we're going to look at the Open World RPG Toolkit, which is included in this month's free for the month collection in the Epic Game Store Marketplace. So this toolkit contains all the features required for creation of an open world RPG game. So you can scroll down over here and you can see all these features over here. And again, as with everything, I recommend you to check the documentation and the YouTube videos over here. Now I do want to mention that the documentation on the YouTube is not very beginner friendly. At least from my point of view, I don't think it's that beginner friendly. I found it a bit difficult to follow. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna create a new project out of this. I had already created a new project. So this is the level that you'll end up with after you have created a new project. And like with every other project, you will find a lot of shader compilations over here if you're starting this for the first time and then let's try this out so i'm going to play this and again as you can see i had already played this so it's load game for me not new game and again you have all these options over here so go back here and then load the game and you will be met with this area and now you can press the H button to open the controls in the game and in here you have several controls so you have the option to control the eagle by pressing the V key over here and this is something that I don't know is probably used for navigating and identifying you know points of interest in the map so I guess it's there for those that want to implement something similar to this. You can also hold the V key so you have this option to kind of like search through things. You can press the N key to open the map. And in here you have the option again kind of uh, have a quick overview of how the map actually looks like. You can again zoom in and zoom out. And again there is options to create this map in this toolkit. So I'll show you that later. So I'm going to press the M key again and you have all these experience points that pop up whenever you enter a new uncharted area. See I'm behind the wall but despite that I can still interact with the objects inside these buildings. So I believe it's a bit of a bug over here but again you can press the E key over here. And you have this lock picking option over here. So the way you do this is you're going to move the mouse cursor back and forth to control this over here. And you'll press the right key to kind of move this little thing over here. And you kind of repeat this process until you kind of open the chest. And there you go. That's kind of how you open the chest in this game. And you can also open the inventory by pressing the I key. We have our coins, we have the objects over here. And let me just go full screen over here. Alright. So yeah, you have these quest markers above on your screen that you can actually you know see where you're moving. You also have these tasks and you can see the I don't know the person over here kind of moves to your location based on where you are. So suppose I'm over here and I get close to it, instantly the character turns towards me. So I'm gonna press the E key to take the task. You can see there's a little icon that showed up. So again it's mostly complete toolkit. So to test this toolkit out, I'm going to click on file, new level and select basic. I'm just going to delete this and then go to select mode and then select landscape I'm going to select over here search for landscape material reduce the size of the landscape by 6 on both x and y axis and then I'm going to paint and add the various layers in this landscape once you have done that you can just play around in here so I'm just going to it will take some shader compilations so I'm just going to paint this all over here just to quickly create some kind of a map I guess 
after this I'm just gonna go back to the select mode over here go to content browser and I had imported the third person character in here so I'm gonna go to the level prototyping meshes and then add a couple of meshes just for demonstration again after you have done that I'm gonna go back to the content browser click on the advanced world interaction folder over here and in here you have to search for BP map target so just type map target and you have this blueprint called map target drag this over to the scene and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on perspective select top so we're in top view make sure that the view over here is unlit so you can see clearly and again in the outline I'm going to select on the target over here this particular target must be positioned in the upper right corner of your map so in the details you can see under default target point type upper right so I'm going to position this in the upper right corner after that duplicate this and this time we need to go to the details and change this to lower left so this target point must be positioned in the lower left corner of your map so drag this target point over to the lower left corner and then position it there so after you have done that we're going to go back to one perspective view i'm going to go to the content browser over here go to advanced world interaction folder over here then search for main gui and we have this vb main gui over here double click on this and in here we're going to go to the bb world map over here under the hierarchies over here and in here we're going to go to the details and over here you have this option called default and under default you have this option called map texture this map texture is what's going to be used as a map which is going to appear over here in the compass but also in our map when we press the m key so currently i don't have a map texture of our world so again if you were to go back over here we can actually create you know a screenshot with the included blueprint for that but i find it to be a bit difficult to use and also if you really wanted a screenshot of this i feel like a better method is to actually just go to the top view under unlit then go to full screen and after you went to full screen over here you have this option called high resolution screenshot and you can take the screenshot of this although when you do that you will have all these extra image coming in your screen you can use something like photoshop or gimp to cut and crop that area away and i find like that to be a better option so now i'm just going to go over here on this icon over here go to game mode and then here i'm going to select a game mode base class so i already said that i'm using the third person character template or at least i imported it into this uh, project over here so i'm going to use the, the third person game mode over here and now I'm just going to play it. So after you have added the third person character, I'm going to go to the content browser over here, go to advanced world interaction then, and then search for demo character. There it is, just showed up. CH demo character, open this up. And then I'm going to go and open the third person character as well. I'm just going to remove the search. So in the demo character, I'm just going to go over here under components, then select all of these components over here, excluding the character movement component over here and paste it into our third person character. And then finally, I'm going to copy this one, AC world map, and then paste it over here. And once you have copied all of that, I'm not going to go back to the demo character again. And then I'm going to copy this group over here that is, that is highlighted in this yellow color and then paste it over here in the event graph. And that's it. Compile this. And after that, you go into the advanced world creation maps. Go to the main level over here. So double click on this. I'm going to save it. And in here, I'm going to copy this character over here. So again, I'm going to go back to the 
level again and in here I'm just gonna paste it and the reason why we are doing this is because if I were to directly run the game then there will be a lot of errors in it and the reason is that it's actually trying to search for any actors in the level but it's not able to find any actors and hence it's creating all kinds of errors in the code and unfortunately it is not documented well in the documentation so now I'm going to play this and there you can see everything is working uh, properly and if I were to go to the world map you can see I can go around navigate and when I zoom in you can see I have our task over here that's that's been highlighted and yeah that's about it I do want to remind you guys again that this uh, this toolkit is not very beginner friendly the documentation is very poor it took me a lot of time to kind of get this to work and you know the YouTube channel is also not that you know that great but it's better than the documentation so if you're looking to try creating this I would recommend you to check the YouTube channel so yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you later bye